Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Coding. In this video, I'm going to do something that's a little bit special. It's a it's a request from one of my uh, photographer friends. Uh, uh, he used this uh, Teta camera to 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 do like 360 image, uh, which is a we know it as equi rectangular kind of format. If you actually render, if you ever render something using Blender cycle renders and then you set it to equi rectangular you're gonna get something like this and if you set up the dimensions correctly like a two by one ratio you can have a this image that will work in on Facebook or perhaps on a if you post it somewhere else that accept a 360 even like if you render like a video for YouTube to works in a 360 uh, virtual reality kind of a uh, format um, this actually will work Perfectly. Here I have this um, like a gallery of uh, image of Bruce Lee. There are actually um, I set it up like this. I'm using animation nodes to do this. Um, I'm gonna show you how we can do this from scratch. It's actually quite simple. And once you once you're done with it, you can jump into the camera, go inside, and if I actually kind of rotate the camera, let's see, lock the camera to view now. What the user is going to see later is something like this. So it, they, they're going to have like a 360 view of this uh, gallery of Bruce Lee. So it's, real, it's rather um, specific, but uh, I like to show it to you. Um, this is a one way you can use um, Node's workflow in Blender to do it, uh, to, do, to make something useful. Okay, so let's start from scratch. First of all, I'm going to tell you that we, we should work in a cycles render because cycles render will give you these options to render as a queer rectangular panorama so that's one thing to consider first thing to do I'm gonna put the camera on the center of the screen I'm gonna reset the camera you can just zero this out manually but you can also use a, a shortcut alt G reset the position and alt r reset the rotations okay that's important we don't need the light for this okay i'm gonna save this so this is gonna be like a panorama vr gallery setup you're gonna use animation nodes for this but you can also use sphereshop it's uh, either way for the add-on so now we have this camera at the center um, all we need to do is actually just to place the photos gallery that we want um, to to show the our audience, and we're gonna use um, Icosphere to place the image because Icosphere can make like a perfect uh, 360. You see, it's a you see the if you look at this Icosphere mesh, each point is nicely placed along like uh, if you imagine like 360 spherical objects around it um, we're not gonna use uh, subdivision 2 because it's, this one has 42 vertices we can actually use less so I'm using s s uh, like lower resolutions of the icosphere only 12 vertices and for those uh, 12 vertices we, uh, we can uh, place our photos okay I'm gonna just reset the icosphere, just place it somewhere in the center. I'm gonna turn this into wire so we can see what's underneath. And also one important thing is to to make sure this icosphere doesn't render. Turn off this uh, camera. It should not render, it's just for the placement of our photos. The next thing we want to do is to file import our image. I have images of, I'm just using Bruce Lee images. I'm a big fan of Bruce Lee, but uh, I also have images of Jackie Chan. Maybe we can use that at some point. Um, we're gonna set this to emission. So we don't want the diffuse material. We want to emission material. So it's always like a self illuminating. This is gonna be important later. Everything else you can leave it as it is. Select all image by tapping A and then import images as planes. So now you have these uh, images of Bruce Lee. 
and ready for us to render at any time okay now all we need to do is to place the images right but before we do that I'm gonna show you real quick I'm gonna group this image uh, control G so now they are group I'm gonna show you something we we need to make sure all these photos is always facing the camera right this is a uh, this is not actually not uh, easy but yeah uh, because we have the like things like constraint is uh, we simply can do that quite easily we just need to aim the photos into the camera right so just select the one of the photo add object constraint and use a track to constraint I believe and then we just specify okay you look at the camera um, this is the hardest part probably you need to ensure this a uh, target up axis and then direction is correct let's see um, I believe it should be facing in the X with a Y okay apparently it's a Y the up axis should be in the Y and then target is a uh, it's either Z I think it's a positive Z you can um, now you want you want to apply this to all other photos so there's a quick one quick way to do that select all this image select this image last and then just tap spacebar and then copy constraint to selected objects okay now every photo is keep is always looking at the camera so that's very very important for this to work the next thing we want to do is just jump to compositing and then I'm gonna use animation nodes um, with this guy we just need to grab our objects which is our photos with already group okay and we need to grab our icosphere um, object mesh data grab our icosphere here and now we are ready to go we just need to create a loop and we're gonna place our objects in position object transform output we could actually set up the the aim constraint inside animation nodes but we're not gonna do that we're just gonna place the objects in position um, sorry about the vacuum cleaner sound anyway we're gonna um, place the image in position using the location of the icosphere and hopefully this should work as planned so we have all these photos of Bruce Lee ready to render um, yeah that's pretty much it if you want to scale the image here you can scale it manually you know per image or if you're using animation nodes you can scale it here as well for all of them at the same time so once this is uh, set up I think we are ready to render I'm gonna switch to 3d view full and gonna turn this on actually just switch to default and <clears throat> we're gonna render it out maybe with just a uh, small resolutions like uh, but make sure this is uh, the ratio is correct it should be two by one ratio and yeah just select the camera change this to panoramic equi rectangular and simply hit render We're gonna get the equi rectangular format, and you can just um, if you upload it to Facebook. Sometimes Facebook will read it. I think Facebook will read it, but if it, if it doesn't, you need to use the Ricoh Theta app to do the 360 um, image upload to make sure you have the metadata. If you want to upload to Facebook correctly, you need to have the metadata that says uh, Ricoh Theta 
and then Facebook will read it and it turns it into a 360 image. I will probably gonna upload it in and link it to in the in the description of this video below. Um, anyway, currently if my render is a bit dark because I'm using this uh, special color management, I just need to increase the exposure and gamma. And also, if you ever if you need to kind of a uh, make the background white you can change it in this environment in the world just change it to white perhaps um, yeah that's pretty much it um, probably I will do another quick demo after this so uh, let, let, let it finish and then save the render This works really well for um, if you have like just have like a 12 images. It can be in any format. You can see the photo doesn't need to be in the same dimensions. It works really well. Um, I might post this in the in the Blender Sushi Facebook pages as well for you to see. <clears throat> Okay, now it's complete. File image save as it's gonna be PNG. It doesn't have any metadata. This is Bruce Lee 360. I'm done with this. I'm gonna save this. If I'm done with the Bruce Lee photo, I know I don't want to use another photos. I just um, place um, the image in different layer. Shift uh, actually Shift G and then select the group M2 move the photos into different layer I'm gonna use another photos which is uh, I think it's Jackie Chan photos I have I already prepared okay Jackie Chan photos once again make sure it's emissions material setting set to emission so it's self illuminating you don't need to set up lighting and everything uh, anything so you have these photos simply group all of them and we remember we need to do the constraining thing again so this is the only part that you need to do manually just use the track to camera uh, just remember this up should be Y and then pointing in the Z axis that's normally what you need now select the rest of the photos and then this photo last and then copy constraint to selected objects now we, we have everything ready go to compositing switch this to the other group check it change photos and we're ready to go yeah so I might actually give you this blend file as well um, so if you actually so if you're a photographer and you want to do to use uh, this technique you just need to download blender 3d software this software is free okay um, if you never use it this is a 3d software really powerful and you need to be you need a little bit of familiarity in order to navigate around but if you just wanna really just um, wanna use it to create this uh, 360 panorama image you only need a uh, like a few few knowledge just a uh, in order to navigate around in 3D and then just hit the render button and you can save this as a 360 image and you see it should just work um, I'll show you the result real soon after I made this video and upload it to YouTube and I'm gonna give you the link um, I'm gonna upload this using the Theta app record Theta app to do the 360 and I also gonna save it with the metadata so it, it will work in Facebook as well okay um, so that's pretty much uh, for this uh, special live noting video thanks for the request um, if you have any question or have any problem that you need solutions you can always ask me and I might make you like a video tutorial for it um, hopefully this is useful for you I guess um, I'll see you in the next video